As you know, Vermont's the only state the president hasn't visited since taking office. You seem to have a beautiful state here, friendly people, good ice cream. Why do you think he hasn't been here? Well, Ronald Reagan never visited Vermont when he was in the White House, and I think that was true of a couple of other states as well. I expect that President Bush will visit here sometime before his term ends. He's certainly welcome. About three dozen cities and towns in your state have passed resolutions calling for his impeachment, a couple have passed resolutions somehow urging his arrest. Do you think that has anything to do with his lack of presence here? Well, I think he understands that he's not uh, wildly popular in Vermont, but... You are running for re-election. You've had some differences with the president on children's health care, on environmental issues, on other issues. Would you want him here to campaign with you? We well, certainly welcome, but frankly, uh, Vermonters because we're such a small state, uh, really rely on retail politics. This is my fourth campaign for governor, and uh, I don't think I've had anyone from outside the state come and campaign on my behalf in any of those previous elections. Vermonters don't care what outsiders think. They want to meet the candidates themselves. Do you consider him a successful president? I think it's too early to tell. So you're a Republican governor not willing to say this Republican president has been successful? I think uh, history will judge. But for many Vermonters, the judgment is in and the verdict has been posted on their bumpers. This car was in the parking lot of an event featuring Democratic gubernatorial candidate Gay Symington, who is challenging Douglas. Tell me why you think it is President Bush has not been to Vermont. Well, I don't think that President Bush's values match Vermonters' values. What kind of reception would he get if he came to this state? Vermonters would be civil. Uh, Vermonters understand how to differ with someone, uh, but yet still be respectful. If the president came here and held a rally, gave a speech at this busy intersection, what would happen? Uh, no one would hear anything he said because the, the, he'd be drowned out by the uh, chance of, of protest uh, would uh, engulf uh, whatever he had to say. There are other states where there are a lot of people who don't like him. What's different about Vermont? <laughs> there aren't very many. You can't find enough people to like him to show up uh, at a rally. In Brattleboro, Vermont, there's a voter-approved resolution on the books calling for Bush's arrest if he ever shows up in town. Kurt Dimes led the effort. What do you think of the fact that President Bush has not been to Vermont and it's the only state he hasn't been to? I don't care. I don't care if he comes or not. Um, I, I hope that uh, the United States becomes the one place where he's indicted and doesn't want to be around in the United States anymore. That would be good. If Brattleboro, you know, if Brattleboro police are ready to arrest Mr. Bush, you know, they'll be, um, they'll be pretty lucky because a lot of people around the country would really love to do that personally. They'd love to slap the cuffs on him. But President Bush will never do time in Brattleboro. Town officials say the resolution is symbolic and not enforceable. President Bush showed up here. He would not be arrested? No. <laughs> so he's welcome to come here? He is. Yes, he is. He's welcome to come here. What kind of reaction do you think he'd get in town here? Um, well, I mean, I would... I would say that there would be a lot of protesting um, that would that would go on. That would that would be my guess, and there would also be you know supporters. I'm sure. What's the proper punishment for President Bush? Well, after the after after trial, uh, you know, I I, I got to think twice about capital punishment. I mean, it's such horrible crimes, you know. And, involving countless deaths. Is this just a bunch of left-wingers having fun, or is this representative of what's going on here? It's pretty representative of what's going on here. Uh, what is it they don't like about him? Pretty much everything. He what a thing to have on your resume. You went to every state but uh, the great state of Vermont. 